everyone, welcome back to Maple Syrup Tech. Today we'll be doing one of the channel's first unboxings. Now, we won't be unboxing a new product, however, we're going to be unboxing some budget Game Boy games from Japan. If, you all, if all of you all out there are not already aware, the Game Boy games are region free, meaning that you can pop them in any a classic Game Boy, Game Boy Color, even Game Boy Advance, and they will play without having to modify your console in any way. And Game Boy games, a lot of them, actually don't require you to be really have any knowledge of Japanese to be able to appreciate and play them. Especially if you're already, you know, if you already know what the game's like on the US version. Uh, so basically, if you ask yourself why buy them from Japan, well the reason why is because a lot of Game Boy games in Japan are a lot cheaper than here in North America. Simply because a lot of these games simply were sold more in Japan. And uh, number two, there's just basically a, a, a bigger used game market out there than there is even here. So it's easy to get a lot of these games for really cheap. The proof is I have probably close to 10 games in this uh, package right here. And the whole package cost me under $20 shipped all the way to here to my house in Canada. So. Uh, without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to open the package, we're going to go through the games one by one. Now, I'm not saying that these are triple A games, crazy awesome, you know, crazy awesome games. I went for budget titles that will give you some good fun, some good gameplay, and that on average cost under two bucks a game. So basically, it's really hard to go wrong with two dollars, especially if the game will give you a few good hours of gameplay here and there. And a lot of these are actually classic titles, in my opinion. These are titles that the Game Boy was known for and that you'll still have fun playing today. So, let's, without further ado, let's take our knife and let's open this package. There we go. Okay. So, for our first title, we have... Yoshi. Now, let me just take this off. Should be getting a close up on the screen right now. So, Yoshi is one of those classic puzzle games. Basically, uh, you're going to be lining up the similar Mario symbols. So, you have different characters, different baddies that you have to line up. When you line up some together, basically, they disappear. And the point is to generally clear the screen. If you have a link wire, the game can be played with multi multiple players. And this game actually cost me under $1. So honestly, for, for about 95 cents, you can't go wrong with Yoshi on Game Boy. So we have one game out of the way. What do we have next? We have Pokemon Yellow. Pokemon Yellow actually goes for quite a decent price here in North America. Uh, it's one of the most sought out of the first generation of Pokemon games. However, in Japan, for two bucks, you can get yourself a Pokemon Yellow. And if you're already, if you already know what the storyline is in Pokemon, figuring out in the stores what's a Pokeball, what's a potion, what's an antidote is actually really simple. And if you don't mind, you know, forgoing the, the story elements and just focusing on the gameplay, because most people, once you've played through Pokemon Red, Blue, or Yellow once, uh, you're not going to really read the conversations with the trainers and whatnot. You're just focusing on building your team and fighting with them. So you've got to learn a little bit about which moves do what. But, you know, overall, with a basic, basic uh, little bit of Google Translate, you can easily play the first generation Pokemon games on your Game Boy. And for two bucks, rather than about 30, I can say that's a decent price drop. After that, well, to continue on the Pokemon uh, trend, I got myself also a copy of Pokemon Red. Just because Red was the first ever Pokemon game I actually got as a kid, wanted a copy of it from Japan, just to complete my collection set. And once again, it cost me about $1.50. Same thing as Pokemon Yellow. Once you get used to a little bit of Japanese, 
you'll be able to play the game very easily and honestly a lot of the things in shops you, there's actually a few English words inserted here and there very easy pickup very cheap pickup and way easier to find than here in North America let's continue on oh this next one is one of my favorites Bomberman on Game Boy Bomberman on Game Boy can actually go in, depending on where you live, can actually go for a decent price. In Japan, I got this for $2. So Bomberman for Game Boy, awesome game. I would really recommend it for anyone who's ever played a Bomberman game and is a fan of the general gameplay. And you, once again, don't need any knowledge of Japanese to be able to play this game fully and appreciate it. What do we have next? Well, continuing on the uh, trend of basically uh, puzzle games, we have Yoshi Cookie. Yoshi Cookie is a different twist, so rather than uh, lining up baddies, you're going to line up cookies in this game, uh, different shaped cookies, and basically once you've complete a full row, the rows disappear and the point once again, once again is to clear the screen. If you're a fan at all of Tetris or any type of puzzle games, you will not be disappointed with Yoshi Cookie. It's a really good playthrough and you can get some really good casual gaming out of this. It's a, it's a fun game to just pick up, do a couple of matches when you have 20 minutes to spare and you know you won't regret uh, buying this purchase, especially that it only cost me under a dollar. So once again, this is one of the cheaper ones that cost me about 95 cents. Hard to go wrong with all this. What is next? Well, let's go with one of the yellow cartridges. And if you guys know the yellow cartridges, you know that there aren't that many games it could have been. And we have Super Donkey Kong for Game Boy. Once again, this is the Game Boy version of sort of Donkey Kong Country. It's a lot simpler, it's not as complex. Once again, you need zero knowledge of Japanese to be able to play this game. And uh, honestly, it's a decent playthrough. It's a, it's a decent game, it's fun. And honestly, for $1.50, once again, how can you really complain? And it's one of the Game Boy classics, I would say. Uh, if you have a Game Boy and you're collecting Game Boy cartridges, you cannot go wrong with Super Donkey Kong. And while we're on Donkey Kong, well, we also have Donkey Kong Land, which is basically the sequel to Super Donkey Kong for Game Boy. And we have uh, basically, you know, it's the follow-up. It's the sequel. Same type of gameplay, awesome game, $1.50 once again. I mean, you know, this is going to be a recurring theme on, the theme on this. This is maybe not the best Game Boy game ever. It's a very good Game Boy game in my opinion, but these are all games that you're getting for $2 or less. So really, if you can get a few hours of gameplay out of it, and if you can, if, especially if you're collecting and you would just want to add this to your collection, the, you cannot go wrong with this pickup. Uh, by the way, I've been a link down below the site that I got all these games from. Uh, I'm not sponsored or affiliated with the site in any way, but if you guys are looking to pick up the games, I found that this is one of my favorite places for picking them up, especially if you're looking at the budget games. Uh, the reason why is because basically the site, I would say if you're looking for the high-end, more expensive Japanese imports, uh, they don't have that many on their site. They do have if you check in regularly, but they're not really known for that. But they are known for the budget titles that you find hundreds of copies in Japan. Uh, they carry a lot of them, which a lot of bigger sites don't focus on anymore. So if you want, like I said, cheap uh, you know, package deals like I got here, I recommend uh, very strongly uh, the site, which is a J4U uh, down and I, like I said, I'll put the link down below in the video description. Not affiliated with them in any way, but you know what? When someone does has a really good site out there, I have no problem of giving them free publicity. So why not? And the last two games, in my opinion, I see them in there, and they really are, in my opinion, the best 
Game Boy pickups I got. Uh, as you can see, I'm a fan of Mega Man. This is the series that I've been a principal fan of since I'm young. And basically the first one that I picked up was Rockman World. So the original uh, Game Boy version of Mega Man 1. Uh, you don't have the full suit of robots if you've ever played a Mega Man game. Uh, this, the, basically the stages are totally original compared to the uh, NES version. So if you're looking at a really fun Mega Man playthrough, I would recommend strongly looking at the Rockman uh, game series. This is the only game that was, uh, these two are the only games that were above two bucks. This one actually cost me about 350. Uh, but for 350 for a Rockman game that here in, in North America probably goes somewhere around 15 to 20 bucks, it's, it, it is really not a bad pickup. And uh, honestly, for Mega Man, you need zero knowledge of Japanese once again, which is, once like I said, a reoccurring theme in all the games. The only one, like I said, that maybe you might be need to look up a few words will be the Pokemon games. And lastly, I picked up Rockman World 3. Rockman World 3 is another one of the cheaper uh, Rockman games. Got this one for again about I would say three or three fifty. I have to check the invoice, but we're around that same price. And basically, it is the remake of Mega Man 3. Once again, original stages. You'll have the same elements as in the NES games, but they will be in different orders, and the bosses will act you know similar but different once again. So if you're a fan of Mega Man and you want an original playthrough of a different game, I would strongly recommend picking up the Rockman series. There are a couple of them that actually go for a little more, like around the 10 to $15 even in Japan, but generally those in the US, it's even worse. We're looking at like 40 to $50 versions of the, of the Mega Man series for those Game Boy games. So it'll be still cheaper overall, but I really wanted to focus on the cheapest ones for this video. So. That completes the package that I received from Japan for my budget Game Boy games. So let's count it out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So nine games and it overall with shipping, which cost about 250, came out to about roughly $19.50. So, you know, a couple of the prices I rounded off and I'm going from memory here, so don't, you know, don't start adding it up and say, hey, Ricardo, you got to $20.50 or whatnot. It might have happened, but uh, like I said, overall the games uh, did cost me under 20 bucks, uh, the invoice that I got from PayPal. So I am really happy with my purchases. I'm gonna be putting this in my Game Boy collection. Let me know if you guys want to see a video of how I'm going to be opening them all up, cleaning them up before putting them in my collection, authenticating them, just making sure they're not copies because a couple of, especially the Pokemon games, were copied back in the day on a regular basis. But like I said, J4U so far, I have never gotten a copy from them. So they must be doing some kind of authentication before selling the games in my opinion. Um, let me know if you guys like this type of video because I really buy a lot of imported games like this in bundles. Uh, I haven't thought of doing unboxings before just because my channel was focused more on the technical side, not really the unboxing, hey, this is what you can buy side. But if you guys like these type of videos, let me know in the comments down below. It'll be a pleasure to open the stuff with you again next time. Uh, if you guys want more suggestions on cheap games, if you guys want stuff like that, let me know in the comments down below as well. Like I said, none of these titles will be AAA or win any awards in my opinion, except maybe the Pokemons. Back in the day, those were AAA games, but for the price you're getting them for, you'll have some good uh, fun playing through them. So as usual, please leave a, lot, leave a like down below. Please subscribe, it really helps the channel a lot. You can leave a dislike as well as you if you dislike the video and let me know why. And uh, if not, I hope I'll catch you guys in my next video.